Hey gamers, the Red Dragon, and I am back with another daily dose for your gaming news. We start things off for the 13th of September with news that Nintendo shares have fallen 5% again today. Uh, they've they've already fallen a lot throughout the course of this year. Of course, at E3. The Wii U was the big story, and ever since then, we have not seen or heard much news at all coming out of the Wii U. Uh, investors weren't impressed, and the 3DS has been a flop. Speaking of 3D, yesterday we also featured a story where Sony came out and said with the PlayStation 3, they still feel 3D is the future. They haven't given up on it yet, and they think that they're just starting to see their potential with games like Resistance and using the PlayStation Move and 3D. As, as you know, if you've been watching me over the course of the past few months, I've mentioned a lot of stories about 3D and how I think it's just a fad and I don't think it's the future and I think the 3DS proves that and uh, the, the lackluster of sales as far as 3D TVs go also shows that the, the, the people just aren't ready for 3D all the time. Today we got official confirmation from EA that Battlefield 3 does in fact release on two discs for the Xbox. Of course, as we talked about the other day, it's not a big deal, I don't think, for a lot of people. It's coming on one disc for the PlayStation 3, of course, they have a lot more room with the Blu-ray disc format. And uh, with Battlefield 3, one disc is going to feature all the multiplayer and co-op, while the other disc features a single-player campaign. If you're looking for some new toys to play with, FIFA 12 and Ace Combat both released a brand new demo today where you can get on there and play around with some of the new features in both of those titles. Uh, the Ace Combat one I downloaded earlier, uh, they've got two missions. You've got a, a mission where you're flying in the jet and you've also got a mission where you're in a helicopter. Uh, I actually enjoyed both and I really like the dogfighting mode of uh, the jet gameplay. So uh, let me know what you think about those and if you also feel the same way. Now for quite a while, people have been assuming that Crisis is going to be coming to consoles. Uh, over the course of the last week, we got confirmation that it is in fact coming, but it's, and it's coming a lot sooner than everybody anticipated. It's actually going to be available on consoles next month. Now we have a couple of stories up. One of them actually talks with one of the developers saying that this Crisis is actually better than it was on PC. Also, the PlayStation 3 got a Black Ops update, patch 1. 0.13 I believe it is uh, addressed a lot of different issues and it's going to be coming to PC and Xbox very soon and we've also got an official date for the release of Resurrection on Black Ops. And then finishing up, one more Modern Warfare story. Modern Warfare 3 campaign said to be much lengthier than Modern Warfare 2. So if you were one of those who complained with the uh, shortness of the campaign, you're going to be happy with Modern Warfare 3 apparently according to one of the developers. So if you want more news as it happens, be sure that you tune in to Battlestrats.com. Uh, and as always, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Grumpy Joe? I stopped to send him an invite and he blows my head off with the <laughs> shotgun attachment of the... Bro, <laughs> 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 <laughs>